Hey guys, it's Elle, and welcome back to my channel, and happy Green Clean June, and happy Foundation Friday. So I have actually my cat on, cat on my lap, so if you see his tail wagging around, that's what it is. He's very needy today. But anyway, today is the start of our Clean June, where we're going to be doing uh, clean foundations all month, and uh, yeah, so we're starting out with the Ilya Foundation. So if you want to know more about that, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and make sure your notification bells are on, and let's do it. All right, so this Ilya foundation is very um, interesting to me because it is part of the Ilya family. Ilya itself as a line is very, very clean. It's a high-end clean brand. Uh, it's definitely, I got it at Sephora, and it is sold and marketed as a clean brand. Now, this foundation, I want to read you the claims and the ingredients. So it is a medium coverage. By the way, the foundation is called the True Skin Serum Foundation. So it's a medium coverage. It's for all skin types, it says. The finish is radiant. Um, and it's a complexion perfecting serum infused foundation that is equal parts skincare and color correction, which I thought that was a very interesting way to explain this foundation because color corrector and skincare, those aren't really foundation type of words. So I thought it was interesting. So it says that, um, it says that this foundation is weightless. It delivers buildable coverage. So you can go from light to medium. It nourishes the skin with a powerful blend of botanical actives that leaves skin looking refreshed, vibrant, and like skin only perfected. It has a couple ingredients. It has jojoba, um, jojoba oil in it. Aloe leaf, rose hip, um, marula oil, and what this does is it helps to calm the skin, diminish redness. Uh, it also helps to diminish the fine lines, it says. And it says it also blurs the look of imperfections and minimizes the appearance of pores. It is formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. It is a cruelty-free brand. It's non-comedogenic, it's vegan, gluten-free, and of course, like I said, cruelty-free. Now, what I found to be interesting is the ingredients, the actually ingredients look pretty good. There's nothing super, super in interesting to write home about except for it is very clean. But I found it very interesting that they chose to use a petrochemical in it, which is dimethicone. Um, it is severely down on the list. I reached out to the company. They did not respond to me because I wanted to ask, like, you know, um, how much dimethicone is in it, or if it's a certain type of dimethicone, because there are some that are like flash dimethicones. Um, but all I could see in it was that it only had one silicone, which is dimethicone. Um, but the rest of it looks really fantastic. It does have um, phenol, uh, it has, uh, it does have phenol alcohol in it, but it's naturally derived. So it's not a synthetic alcohol which is a lot more calming to the skin and it is literally the second to last ingredient so that's nothing crazy at all um it's more of a preservative uh this foundation is 54 dollars okay so they say this on how to use it for a radiant finish with a light coverage use one pump and apply a couple dots around the face and basically you know blend it out with your hands uh using your fingertips basically and then it says, for a more buildable medium coverage, allow the first application to set for one minute and apply another pump, repeating the application process. It says, tips, because this is a natural product containing only clean and safe ingredients, uh, setting time is slightly increased compared to some other uh, foundations, which I mean that has, heart, has no alcohol in it, what we just talked about. And so that alcohol doesn't dry and dry down that foundation as quickly. And this is for even softer finish, buff into skin with a kabuki style buff brush after product has set. So we're gonna get into this. I did get samples of this foundation because again, trying to be a little bit more minimalistic. I did get shade number uh, SF2. All right. And the shade is called Tavarua, Tavarua, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap this around my face like it says. And we're going to get a little bit of, and I have no primer on, nothing. I just have all of my skincare on. And we'll see what this kind of light coverage will give us. But it doesn't have any synthetic fragrance in it, which is great. 
It has, a, it has no fragrance actually in, to my nose, so that's great. It spreads on the skin very effortlessly. It doesn't feel overly watery, which is nice. It feels really lightweight. It's not overly hydrating, which is nice. So you can really customize how you want the finish to be, which is kind of what I'm seeing here as far as what skincare and primer you wear underneath it. Because, I mean, yes, they say that it has a luminous finish to it, um, but I don't find it to be over radiant. You know what I mean? Like, does, it doesn't look overly glowy. So this is one layer. I think it looks really pretty. It's a very light coverage for sure with just this kind of one layer going on, but I, I don't mind it at all. This foundation does not claim to be long wearing at all. So we are gonna give it a wear test today, but I'm not gonna give it like, I'm gonna push you to the test and see what it looks like at hour 15. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait here for a minute and we will be putting on another layer. All right, so here we go. It does not say at all to use a beauty sponge, so I am not going to do that. It says to build it up with your hands. This application method, to be honest with you, is very similar on how you use the water blend foundation from Makeup Forever, where you do one layer, you let it sit for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, and then you build another layer. I am gonna build it up just a little bit more right here where I don't like this. I would say that you probably could get this built up, I don't know, maybe just a light medium. I, I don't find this to be very heavy at all, but if you want a lighter coverage foundation, this seems to be going on really nicely. It's very pretty. You can still see a little bit of my pigmentation, but not a lot, not a lot at all. It seems to be sitting on my skin really nicely. Um, the nose is just a little bit of one of those problem areas, but most foundations do this when applied with your fingers. What I am going to do is just in a small section, I am going to take a beauty blender and just see what it does. Oh, okay. I think it's really pretty with a, with a uh, beauty blender. It definitely will give you a little bit more of that radiant finish because of the moisture in the sponge. I think it gives you actually way more coverage when you're using a sponge versus your hands. Let's get it on here and see what it does. I don't love it on my nose with a sponge, so continue to use your fingers or uh, maybe a brush. So with a beauty blender, I can definitely get it to be more of a medium coverage, but look how pretty it looks on the skin. This color is definitely a little bit light for my faked tan skin. So we can just warm that up though at the end. Okay, I like it with a sponge. I think a sponge does a nice job, but I do like that you, um, how it's when you put it on first with your hands and then maybe your sponge kind of goes through and just kind of evens everything out, make sure it doesn't have any finger strokes or anything like that. But I love how it plays with a sponge. It's beautiful. So on my forehead, I think I would have liked to use a primer underneath this because, you know, it's just that sometimes I have a lot of texture on my forehead and we're just in the middle of that. So it is kind of clinging a little bit weirdly in those places, but look how pretty it looks on the skin. It looks very, very radiant. And I, I think maybe the sponge on my forehead wasn't a good idea. I think just using your hands would be best. And then maybe using a sponge where you have to like build it up on whatever place that you want to build it up because it does play very nicely with the sponge here. All right, I think it's beautiful. I really do. It's very lightweight on the skin. It gives a beautiful even coverage. Very easy to go on. Super lightweight. No scent of anything. Love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back and we'll go into natural light. All right, you guys. So everything is on. It all went on beautifully. I did end up setting this. I did end up setting this with my... Uh, Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder, just because I don't necessarily, I don't know if I necessarily needed it, but I felt like I wanted it to be set so that I didn't transfer and so that it would last a little bit longer because, you know, again, this is more of a natural foundation. It doesn't claim to be long wearing, but I wanted to kind of help it out. I did also hit it with the Urban Decay uh, Quick Fix 
Hydra Charge Complexion Prep just on the sides just to give some of that powderiness away. But so far, I think it looks really good. I'll come in really close so you guys can see. The only problem I have is with my forehead. You can totally see it grabbing to texture up here. And I don't know what that it is what that is. I might have needed a like skin smoothing primer because it's not happening anywhere else on my face. It's really not. So to me, it means that something right here either has texture and it was grabbing towards it or I used the beauty sponge and it added too much hydration to the foundation. So um, again, if I'm going to use this again, I would definitely use just the hands on the forehead and maybe a primer underneath it that was a little bit more of a smoothing primer like the Tatcha primer I bet would have been fantastic underneath this. But anyway, let's go ahead and go into natural light so you guys can take a look at it. All right, you guys, so here we are in natural light. I'll kind of zoom in so you guys can see. Look how pretty it is. I think it's great. I love the way that the skin looks. It definitely did not build to a medium coverage. I just will be really honest. It, it builds to a light to medium coverage. So this is for somebody that wants a very light coverage. It evens out skin tone. You can definitely see the skin still through it. Uh, this is not a full coverage, not even a medium coverage, but it did cover a good amount, I guess, if I can say that. So um, it looks really great on the skin. I'm excited to see how it wears in a few hours. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, I am back. It is about five and a half hours later and I think the foundation is looking good. It is definitely starting to break up around my mouth um, and it is looking better on my forehead as my natural oils have come through but um, it's not a long wearing foundation but I do think it's a great foundation. Uh, it has good ingredients. It's definitely a green foundation. Um, I think it's probably better for that kind of running around, not full coverage, really skin-like. It is very skin-like. I think it would play really beautifully with a primer. I definitely, if you get this foundation, use a primer that fits your skin type. So um, I actually think I would use the hydrating primer from Too Faced or the Tatcha primer, maybe something that gives the skin a little bit of a smooth base first. I think this foundation would look really great with that and then you can buff it on with your brush or a sponge. So my overall thought is that I really like the foundation. Um, am I gonna go out and buy it? Probably not because I now have that RCMA or the um, RMS foundation, which is even cleaner than this. I actually should have saved it for this month, but it doesn't matter. So um, I have that one. So I'll probably start using that one a little bit more if I want to go more clean. But again, this is something that you definitely should look at. Go get a sample out of Sephora. Try it out primer, use your hands, beauty blender, brush, whatever you want to do, and um, see if it works for you. But I like it. I think it looks nice. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, Foundation Friday as well as you're going to be joining me for the rest of the month for Green Clean Foundation Friday. And I will see you guys on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye, you guys.